<clears throat> okay, hello everyone. Today is uh, Thursday, March 9th, 2023, and I am prompted to do a teaching. And um, before I forget, although I shouldn't because it's right here on my computer screen in front of me, uh, what prompted this is a post off of the 444 Prophecy News site uh, titled Life is in the Blood by Handmaid of the Most High. So I want to give credit where credit is due. Um, this prompted me more, is the right word, poignantly? I, I can't pronounce that word, but I realize now the Holy Spirit has been prompting me and I didn't realize it. Um, but the Lord's been speaking to me on this topic of blood as well, even just yesterday, actually. And I just, every time Holy Spirit brings it up, I didn't, I wasn't realizing I was being dense and I didn't realize that the Lord was speaking me, speaking to me and prompting to me and prompting me to address further my own stuff, but to also address this on the channel. But I do just want to give credit where credit is due. I will link um, that post in the description box below for you if you are not aware of it already. Uh, but let's go ahead and open in prayer. Father God, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua the Christ of Nazareth. Once again, Lord, I just plead the blood of Yeshua the Christ of Nazareth over my entire domain. I ask you, Father God, Yahweh, in the name of Yeshua the Christ of Nazareth, will you please put a hot coal over my tongue and prevent me from saying anything that's not true, not coming from you, and anything you do not want me to say, Lord. Um, I ask you, Yeshua, will you please just breathe into me afresh, overflowing your Holy Spirit and your peace that surpasses all comprehension, emotions, moods, and circumstances. I ask, Lord, will you please just fill me with your words and your presence. And um, I ask, Lord, that you would prevent, I ask in the name of Yeshua, the Christ of Nazareth, will you please prevent any interruptions or distractions while I'm recording. Um, I invite you, Lord, to just speak and have your way and remind me of any other scripture you want me to reference or anything else you want me to say, Lord. I ask for you to just have your way here. I ask for all of this in the name of Yeshua, the Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Okay, so in this post, um, she references some scripture, and I want to particularly point out um, Leviticus chapter 17. In my New King James Version, the subtitle is The Sanctity of Blood. Okay. Um, but the Lord has been prompting me, and I didn't realize it, um, to talk about this, to, to address it further on my own and to teach on it. So, uh, but I am giving credit due where credit is due. This was uh, kind of prompted by this post. Um, on the 444 Prophecy News site uh, by Handmaid of the Most High, okay? And I will link that in the description box below. Okay, so the Lord told me to give this title, Giving Satan Claim <clears throat> of Your Soul Through Your Blood. And I'm going to go a little bit further than what she covers here in her post. So let's just start off referencing some scripture. Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11 for the life of the flesh is in the blood okay so how can you give Satan claim <clears throat> through your blood claim of your soul or part of your soul shall we say uh, through your blood well there's multiple ways uh, I've got one two three for, and, and we are going to get a little graphic and, and, and gross here, okay? Um, but there's four ways that I have listed out, and I'm sure there probably is more than that. And so we're just going to say etc. But number one, donating blood, which is what she covers here in her post. Number two, um, I just put it down as blood, blood, Brothers, I don't know if there's another name for that, but when people, uh, you know, slit their wrists and then they mix their blood with someone else's and they, then they call themselves being blood brothers, um, okay, that's outside of God's will. Um, another form, or uh, 
how do I articulate this? Another way to give Satan any claim over any part of your soul via your blood is menstrual intercourse. And I was asking the Lord, do you want me to say menstrual sex? And he said, no, I want you to say menstrual intercourse. So that's what we're gonna say, okay? So if any women out there have had sex while they were on their period, that's what we're talking about, okay? Whether you were married or not, because the Lord tells us in scripture, that's what I forgot to look up. Um, I know that's in scripture, I don't remember where, I'm sure it's in Leviticus, um, about how we're not supposed to be doing that. Uh, scripture, um, sex on menstrual cycle. And of course, now my internet's going slow. I'll have to look that up and put it in the description box below for you. Um, I don't, of course, my internet's not functioning right now, of course, while I'm recording. Anyway, um, God tells us that women are not supposed to be having sex while they're on their period, okay? I, I'll, I'll, refer, I'll, I'll, I'll dig up that scripture and put it below. And the fourth way that, that the Lord pointed out to me, that he reminded me of, is very gross. Okay, it's not something I've ever done. It's not something I've ever seen, but um, I did used to hang out with men and um, they would share things with me that they probably shouldn't have being that I'm a woman. Um, but I believe it's known as getting your Apache wings and this is very gross, but um, apparently there is a practice where a man will and I guess a woman could do this too if she was participating in some kind of uh, lesbian activity. But uh, pulling a tampon out of someone's parts and uh, while there is blood involved, you know, obviously, and um, then they would proceed to move their head in such a way that the bloody tampon would then leave blood on their cheeks. Disgusting. Like I said, never participated in it, never seen it, but I've been told about it, that this is what some people do, okay? And then we're just gonna say, etc. Oh look, the internet decided to work. Leviticus 2018, if a man has sexual relations with a woman during her menstrual period, both of them must be cut off from the community for they have both been exposed, for they have both been exposed the source of her blood flow. Let me, let's pull that up in my Bible here. 2018, that seems phrased a little strange. 2018. If a man lies with a woman during her sickness and uncovers her nakedness, he has exposed her flow and she has uncovered the flow of her blood. Both of them shall be cut off from their people. Now, I'll be honest with you, when I first read this years ago, you know, I didn't really comprehend what the Lord meant. I don't think most of us really do. I, you know, it's one of those like mysteries of like, okay, Lord, like what's the big deal? Well, now I realize what the big deal is, okay? Um, you're giving legal claim to Satan, okay? Um, because it has to do with blood. And if you're doing anything ungodly, outside of God's design, then you're stepping outside of his kingdom into the kingdom of darkness, basically, okay? Um, so yeah, point number three, because it is outside God's will, you are giving claim to Satan, specifically to the spirit of death. And that's what the Lord told me to specify, okay? Because the life is in the blood. If you are doing something regarding blood outside of God's will, outside of his ordained design, you are then giving claim to Satan, and Satan just means adversary, okay, just means the enemy, okay? But you are specifically giving claim to the spirit of death, okay? Because life is in the blood. If it's used, if, if, if blood is operating or being interacted with in such a way that it's within God's will and design, then it's life-giving. But if you are doing something outside of God's will and design, you are then engaging the spirit of death. I hope that makes sense, okay? So, how do we address this? Because I know many people have donated blood. Many people have had menstrual intercourse. Um, 
And I don't know if our generation so much has participated in being blood brothers, but I know back in the day, a lot of people did that. And the whole, uh, the whole Apache wings thing, I would hope that people haven't done that, but you never know. But etc. If you have done anything regarding blood, if you have interacted with blood in any way, shape, or form, and this is your own blood, or anyone else's blood, okay? Just, just to, let's just cover our bases here, okay? Outside of God's will, outside of God's design, then you have given legal claim to the spirit of death, and probably, or possibly multiple spirits of death, okay? Um, so how do you address this? Well, you address this by going through what I've already put together and, and God has told me to call the prayerful steps to freedom, okay? Um, I guess I can pull this up real quick. I have shared this on my channel before. This is not the first time. Let me pull up the file. Um, I will put a link to it in the description box below for you to download and print out. You're welcome to email me if you'd like me to just email you the file. Um, I'm gonna pull it up right now, okay? This is a six step, basically like um, repenting for dummies, so, so to speak, okay? This is a, a step-by-step -step process of how to cover your bases when you are repenting of something, okay? So step number one, you confess. You ask, the, you, you own your sin, you own it, you own responsibility, you confess it, and you ask the Lord to forgive you. Number two, in Yeshua's name, you renounce it, Number three, in Yeshua's name, you revoke the claims that you've given to Satan. Number four, you anoint yourself with oil that has been blessed in the name of Yeshua the Christ of Nazareth, and you cancel any claims that you have given, any anything, any agreements that you have made. So, so you are revoking the claims in step number three, but in step number four where you're anointing yourself, you're canceling any agreements, okay, with any evil spirits. Number five, you're going to invite the Holy Spirit. You're going to invite Yeshua in, invite the Holy Spirit in, into your domain, wherever these these claims and, uh, <clears throat> I'm stuttering, claims and agreements have been. And then step number six, you're going to forbid retaliation in the name of Yeshua the Christ of Nazareth from Lucifer, his fallen angels, Nephilim, binders, demons, which is warlocks, sorcerers against your domain. I had this all typed out. You can... Like I said, you can download it or you can email me and I'll send you the, the file, but I have it saved on my Google Drive so that people can download it and print it out, okay? Um, and this will basically cover your bases, okay? Um, so this is pretty straightforward. I felt like this was gonna take longer, but it's pretty quick. Um, but basically, anything you've done with blood that is out, oh yes, thank you, Lord, I forgot. That's right, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, also, also, I forgot, Rob Skiba covered this on his channel years ago, um, but you also do not want to participate in any kind of blood transfusion uh, or heart transplant or anything having to do with the blood. Rob Skiba was sharing on his channel years ago um, some like testimonies of people that had received a heart transplant from someone else who had died and all of a sudden um, they had these memories that weren't their own memories. They were memories of the person who died. All of a sudden they were having dreams of memories and people and stuff that had to do with the person who died. Um, all of a sudden even their tastes in food were changing. The one lady shared a testimony of how she, I forget what it was, but there was something that she never used to eat. She didn't even like it and now all of a sudden when she got the heart transplant, now she was like craving this thing because and, and then she later found out that the person who died, who, who she got the heart from, loved that particular food, okay? Um, when you are doing things regarding your blood or someone else's blood, that is basically that person's soul, okay? The blood is the DNA and the DNA is the soul of that person, okay? Everything having to do with that person's soul. So if you are donating blood, you're giving away a part of your soul. If you are becoming blood brothers with someone, or blood sisters, or whatever with someone, you are swapping parts of your soul. Um, menstrual intercourse, ladies, you're giving away parts of your soul, um, etc. 
okay? And so you need to address this. You need to go through the prayerful steps to freedom to repent of this and revoke any claims that you gave to Satan, cancel any agreements that you made, etc. okay? And, um, Lord, do you want me to get, there's, Lord, do you want me getting into the deeper stuff? He doesn't want me getting into any deeper stuff, but there's actually even more deeper stuff, but I'm, I'm not going to get into it because he, he's telling me not to. Um, although you're always welcome to email me with any questions uh, or concerns that you have. Um, so my email address will be in the description box below. I usually put it under my teaching videos. It's also on my about page. Um, but I will put the link from the 444 site below. I will put the link for the prayerful steps to freedom below. I will put the scripture below. Um, and I'll put, I guess, this outline below for you, okay, to reference. So, um, and, and if you're led to, please do share my channel, my ministry. Um, my ministry has uh, been shadow banned quite a bit and censored quite a bit. Um, but the Lord told me that he was going to be dealing with that. So if you're led to, please do go ahead and share. Uh, so that I can reach more people. Um, Lord, is there anything else? I'm seeing the end. I believe that's it. But if there's anything else, I'll put it in the description box below. Okay. I bless you all in the name of Yeshua the Christ of Nazareth.